Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, September 7th. And welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. We touched a little bit on this last night. But tonight I want us con to consider the tremendous love with which God cares for you and me. And you see, this isn't this is it love in the abstract. This is God weaving our lives together so that we can know Him, be confident in Him, and be safe in the world that He's designed. Sometimes we focus so much on the right or wrong of a particular object or question that we lose sight of what it means to live in the way that God wants us to live. He designed you and me to live in a world that He made. Relationships, life's purpose, the way we enjoy the things of this world. God has made the very best way for us because he knows us intimately, everything about us. That's why the thumbnail tonight is this beautiful rose this from our garden of years ago from a rose bush that my wife Ruth wanted and planted. And I think you've heard me talk about before how I like to go out after a rain, especially after the Lord took her home and experience this delicate beauty. I'm going to read a passage from Psalm 139 while this rose is on the screen tonight. And I want you to consider with me, travel with me right now into this journey of the amazing way that God has made us. That we are wonderfully complex as only He knows. Listen to what the Holy Spirit tells us. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in the utter seclusion, as I was being woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. This is the God who has made us for this world. And just as there are raindrops on this rose. There are tears in this life, but God is there with us to bring us through these things because we are wonderfully complex with a perspective that He put in us to honor Him. And you see, the ugliness of sin, as awful as right and wrong is when we do the wrong thing, it's much deeper than that. It robs me of being whole with God, of being one in purpose with Him. It robs me of the beautiful fear of Him. Dear friends, tonight, don't look at obedience as something I've got to do to make God happy. Look at it as a way to be on track with the way that God made me to be. See, sometimes we act as if we're the engineers. We're the ones who made us. God made us. Random chance didn't make us. A collection of evolutionary molecules and atoms and everything coming together over time didn't make us. God made us. This is why it's safe with God. This is why the only safe place to be is to 
awesomely fearless God. I'm going to read these passages again. Contemplate on them. Draw peace from them. And know that you, you, are wonderfully complex, made in God's image, to live the way that he designed us to live. You made all the delicate parts of my inner body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment laid out before a single day had passed. This is what God calls us to. Trusting in him. Living for him. To be in sync with the marvelous way that he's made us. Because you and I especially because of the work of Jesus, are wonderfully complex. Let's explore that together. I wish you a great Lord's Day tomorrow. I pray for you to know this beautiful peace that comes from living as he's called us to live. And Lord willing, we'll see you on Monday. Good night.